on. Meme review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Welcome back to another episode of Gun Meme Review. On this episode, we've got Civil War. Ruger dropping the hard R. Oh, hell no. Anti-gunners talking about the size of my PP and more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on in. So if you haven't seen, Hollywood is coming out of left field and dropping a big budget film about the fabled Civil War Part Two: Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> We're moving to DC today. The trailer just dropped around Christmas of A24's new movie centered around a civil war breaking out in the United States. And dare I say, it looks like it may have some potential. That being said, I can't wait to see the new and exciting ways you and I get painted as the unhinged bad guys. But not all hope is lost. While this movie will very likely be left-wing propaganda, we did get one light at the end of the tunnel. We got this fucking Chad as a meme template. Well, you're American, okay? Okay, what kind of American are you? That's right, Fat Damon is in this movie. And we are so back. He has single-handedly birthed a new meme template that has taken over my feed. You're an American, okay. What's your take on the term minor attracted person? They absolutely had to know what they were doing with this guy. If you get clipped by Elton John with a single point, not going to heaven. That meme, of course, borrowed from my buddy, administrative, oh, it's on that side, Jesus Christ administrative results. Who also had this to say? I didn't buy the sunglasses for this video, you may be wondering. I thought about it, but I was like, I'm, I'm not that guy. I don't, I don't have it in me to pull it off. Great self-awareness, Aaron. That's where you and I differ, friend. I don't give a fuck if I can pull it off. We're meme lords, my friend. We commit to the bit. You're an American. Okay. Does pineapple go on pizza? I would postulate that it does. <laughs> that is consistently one of the most controversial takes I've had on this channel. If you're not Italian, please let me know your opinion down in the comments. As you're bleeding out from multiple gunshot wounds, fighting for your last breath, he leans down and whispers in your ear, Hot pockets. You're welcome for that. Won't these glasses make it incredibly hard to see your reticle? That's actually a really good question. We have the technology to test that. Actually, no, you can see that shockingly well. Even through the shades, it comes out very red. What kind of deadlifter are you? You know, that actually brings me back around to something I wanted to talk about. We haven't really committed to a fitness challenge here on the channel in a good minute. I know 2023 was a weird year for a lot of people, but we're in 2024 now. It's time to focus on them gains. I want to start a legit AKG Nation fitness challenge this year. Because let's face it, all that shit on the wall back there doesn't mean jack shit if you can't run up a flight of stairs. So let's hold each other accountable this year. If you're down to do a fitness challenge with me in 2024, let me know down in the comments. But while the memes are super fun, let's also face the reality that this movie will probably be dog shit. Just from the politics, a lot of the shit I see in the trailer, I just, I don't have high hopes for this, I'm sorry. Which is a big disappointment for me because I'm typically a fan of A24 films. Even though they pretty much all end the same way with some sort of satanic cult sacrifice or some shit. Actually, come to think of it, since a good bit of this movie takes place in Washington, D.C., a satanic cult sacrifice might actually be alarmingly appropriate. <laughs> Maybe even a bit too on the nose. So there's a shitty looking Civil War movie coming where Texas and California team up against, well, I'm assuming everyone, and the brave female journalist is the good guy in it. The movie will be trash and I will pirate it so I can see the dumpster fire firsthand. But I'll be rooting for the guy with an EOTech and the funky party shades. I stand with Fat Damon. Now we got a few other memes to cover, but quick, I want to give a moment of reverence to the recently deceased Gaston Glock, who just died a few days ago at the time of recording. Gaston Glock of, of course, Glock fame, revolutionized what we think of as the modern handgun. His prolific polymer frame striker fire handgun paved the way for pretty much every modern pistol on the market. So we'll give him a quick F to pay respects down in the comments. Also, now I'm gonna have to find a new dealer for my horse comb. Yes, if you didn't know, they also do that. Now, before we talk about the N-word, time to talk about our sponsor. God, I love having cool ads. That sponsor being Tack Pack. Tack Pack. Congressman Herrera. Please enjoy this box of Tack Pack goods. Tack Pack. It showcases some of the awesome items we sent out to the Tack Pack community. Tack Pack. Code AKGUY will get folks a free extra box of tactical gear that ships separate when they subscribe to Tack Pack. Love, Tack Pack. And there's yours truly there at the bottom saying, I love Tack Pack and healthy hair. Some of those include a Gerber knife. Mechanics gloves, a Sylvan Arms folding stock adapter, nine and a half inch rail, which as most people would say, nine and a half inches of rail is far too much, a linear compensator, and more. 
So check out the links in the description and in the pinned comment, and use code AKGUY. And remember, TACPAC loves you. So in other news, it's no secret that big companies have used advertising tactics in the past that, uh, didn't age quite so well. Ruger is no exception. In fact, I'm actually not sure how nobody noticed this at the time. Recently, some memers dug up an old print ad that Ruger ran back in the day. And no shit, they were advertising what they coined their hard R line. For those of you who may not know or maybe aren't internet savvy, hard R is a colloquialism for the N word, AKA not the cool kid basketball court N word, but more like the malicious 12 years a slave N word. And Ruger figured, yeah, we'll name some guns after that. I'm gonna say the N word. Where me and the boys go with our new Rugers, the hard R cafe. Coincidentally, the same place your fun uncle goes after four $2 Applebee's margaritas. I, I, I. The gun industry was a different place when people like Bill Ruger led it. The Ruger 1022, the Ruger hard art line. Somehow I've never seen a more poignant Barbenheimer meme. The duality of man, the gun that brings most people into the firearm world, the edgy racial humor that keeps most people entertained by it. So moving on to the next segment, it's actually been a while since we've talked. I hope you guys all had a good holiday season. I hope it was filled with everything you wanted it to be. Which for us, I mean, it's a pretty specific list. My Christmas uh, made national news. No, it is not a joke. So I was visiting some family and while I was there, I had to film some content for you guys because of course, you're my extended family. I love you. That's gay. So I brought along the gun that I had to film a video with. So as a joke, I took a picture with it next to the Christmas tree, which if you're a fan of the channel, pretty normal for me. Lefty Twitter went absolutely ape shit. You don't say. To the degree that it actually made it to Newsweek, which story of my life these days. Every article they write about me now is Republican candidate, congressional candidate. Everything these days is what's Brandon doing, not how's Brandon doing? And of course, because lefty Twitter has never left fourth grade, the only thing they have to attack me on is apparently the fact that I am compensating for something. Can't tell if small or big pee pee. Hmm, it's small. Which just means it's been zero days since gun grabbers have thought about my dick. Which now makes me very uncomfortable with the term gun grabber. Which I'm not fucking kidding, if you look at that Twitter thread, it's like 75% of the, the liberal responses are, oh my God. Um, you must be compensating. It's either fake outrage or pee-pee jokes. It's literally no in-between. You own an AR-15? Ha! Now I'm thinking about your penis. Which, the irony is not lost on me. The fact that statistically low-T individuals are keying in on higher-T individuals' dick size. The projection there is entertaining, to say the least. I, of course, replied, Some Democrat pages have started sharing this, and now the comments are flooded by people I've never met, obsessed with speculating on my dick size. I still wish you schizos a Merry Christmas, too. Which was met with... even more... penile speculation. We don't need to speculate, because we know attempts at compensation when we see them. For one, pronouns in bio, opinion disregarded. And two, thank God Donut is here to be my anger translator. Gun owners have a small penis. Boo, get better material. Uh, AR-15 equals small penis, overcompensating, small pee pee. Yeah, it's, li it's literally the only joke they have. It can't be that you have an understanding of the constitution, that you take personal responsibility for your own protection, that you have a masculine passion or hobby. Nah, you got a tiny dick. I just wish that some of them could understand that we just have a passion for this stuff. We love this country. We understand the second amendment. We want to protect ourselves and our families from all enemies, foreign and domestic. We take an interest in firearms in general, whether it be the history, the design, the gunsmithing, all things that you can learn at sdi.edu with the links down in the description and in the pinned comment. Which by the way, SDI is reserved for big peepees. I don't actually think we could say that part. Liberals, when it's been two minutes since they've thought about gun owners' penises. These stupid gun owners don't even know I'm thinking about their dicks right now. Like, it's a real trope. I didn't fucking make this up. These are all literally just, I grabbed these from the tweets in response to the tweets I was getting. When a guy tells me he owns a gun, I'm like, um, what's wrong with your dick? Well, last time I tried to use my dick on a home intruder, I got in way more trouble. The cops were pretty upset, the intruder needed counseling, and I'm on a list. Just use a gun. <laughs> Fucked up, but it's funny. 
But all said and done, it does feel good to return to the gun meme review format. I know it's been a little while since we've done this. We need to do more curse gun images, more Darwin awards, more gun meme reviews. We've got more range videos coming out. 2024 is just brimming with content that I can't wait to bring to you guys. And all in all, I just can't wait to see where we go from here. I think it's gonna be a really good year. Or the year I get canceled. There's like no in between. But <laughs> anyhow, I appreciate you guys watching to the end. And as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put in to the top. But I can as you can stop your 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 stop your